After a 12-year-old boy was hit on his bike, safety changes are being added to prevent another collision at what neighbors call a problem spot. The surveillance video is tough to watch. It shows the moment the boy was hit while riding his bicycle. Now, he is okay. The hit and run happened earlier this month along Avalon Park Boulevard near Auburn Cove Lane. Now, after New Six shared neighbors' concerns last week, upgrades are coming. New Six's Emily McLeod explains how officials hope it will get results. After a 12-year-old Avalon Park boy was injured in a hit and run, Orange County officials jumped into action and have implemented new traffic safety measures to be put at the intersection where the crash happened. But the solutions go far beyond that to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. It's very important that we protect our kids and their families. Orange County Commissioner Maribel Gomez Cordero says she's been working on traffic safety in Avalon Park for the last four years she's been in office. We have been having a lot of meetings, not only because of this accident, but it, have, it happened before. The most recent incident involving a 12-year-old boy getting hurt in a hit-and-run crash while riding his bike through the Avalon Park Boulevard and Auburn Cove Lane intersection. The boy was not using the crosswalk. After News 6's initial reporting, the county announced several new traffic safety measures, including flashing lights at the crosswalk, replacing the pedestrian signs with larger ones, and adding yellow reflective strips at all warning signs. We issued the work order. We're hoping that within two to three weeks or four weeks, it should be installed. News 6 traffic safety expert Trooper Steve says roadway education in addition to safety improvements are key to preventing injuries and in some cases, death. So education is the preventative preventative medicine when it comes to this. We, we need to educate or we're, we're going to end up losing kids. Commissioner Cordero says they have worked with Orange County public school officials over the last month and a half to create a safety program specifically geared towards students attending Avalon Park area schools. On top of the short-term changes and educational efforts, county officials say there will be more improvements to the Avalon Park area. So we're going to be looking at the whole corridor and network, having the access, but also having the meetings with the community. Because once we implement it, we need people to obey the rules of the law. Commissioner Cordero says they do not have a set start date for that safety program they're working on with Orange County public school officials. Reporting in Orange County, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.